Today we're going to give you a behind the scenes look at the Hot Springs Fire Department's newest acquisition. It's the fire training simulator that you see behind us and with us today is Fire Marshal Tom Broughton along with Training Officer Ty Ferris of the Hot Springs Fire Department. Welcome gentlemen. Good morning. Well, it's quite an impressive facility that we see behind us, and in just a little while, we're going to be touring through it. So let me begin with you, Tom. How did we acquire this facility? Sure. Um, we had a federal assistance to firefighter grant. Um, the simulator itself, we had it spec'd out to $450,000. Um, with that, the city had to have a 10% match, so we paid $45,000 for it. Um, we put it out for bid. Carilla Fire in Ohio actually won the bid for it. Um, they came down and within a week they had everything set up and, and running. So um, with that though, we knew that we needed to do some improvements at our training ground. Um, we had to have a pad for it to sit on, a concrete pad for it to sit on. We wanted to have a, a nice safety area for our guys to work on. So that was something else that the fire department improved the training grounds and tried to make it a little bit better. So all around you can see the improvements that have recently been made. Absolutely. I think when we do our tour, you can definitely see the changes that we've done. Great. Now, Ty, what is the purpose of this facility? And I know that's a detailed question in itself. Yes, for sure. The main purpose, though, is live fire training. Um, we don't get to do a lot of that until we have an actual fire. Um, so the main purpose is live fire training. It is a fire simulator. Um, in the tour, you're going to see a lot of other training purposes for it, but main purpose is live fire training. We can do Class A which is the main thing there is wood pallets and straw, so we can kind of recreate live fire, but also we can do class B, which is natural gas, and we're gonna see that in our tour also. But through that, we can be able to train our guys in the use of their PPE, their protective equipment, so they get more familiar with that, custom to that, um, their use of SCBAs, their air packs, and do that. We can also do search and rescue operations and live fire simulations through that. Um, uh, firefighter rescues through that that we don't also get to do that we don't have to do, fortunately. So a lot of it is just a live fire aspect of it that we don't get to do on a training basis. When we do it, it's actual fire fighting. So we don't get to train in those situations. So the biggest aspect to this simulator is the live fire aspect of it. Now, will this facility be used to train only fire department personnel for our city? Initially, it will. We want to get real familiar with the simulator ourselves in the training aspect, get all of our personnel up to date in that training, and then we will open it to the volunteer departments in the county once we're more familiar with it. And then at some point, our goal is to open it up to the state and have training classes opened up to all departments through the state and have that opportunity for Hot Springs so they can come visit our city. Certainly another point of pride for the professionalism and the level of training that our fire department represents. Yes. Yes ma'am. Uh, well now we're going to go right into the tour and see some of the features and in advance I'd like to thank the eight firefighters that are behind us right now setting up the demo and actually experiencing some training themselves, correct? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Great. They are. Okay, well let's start with the walkthrough. All right, uh, the first simulation we're going to do is the breach demo. This is our forcible entry door if we have to get into a house, a structure of anything. This is where we can break into a door. Uh, we also have a breach window, but this demo is just a, we're forcing entry into a door. Uh, our next one is a standpipe for a simulated sprinkler system. Most of our businesses have sprinkler systems into it. We can actually assist that sprinkler system by connecting a hose from a engine company and supplying water into that standpipe and assisting that sprinkler system with additional water from a fire truck or a fire hydrant. Our fire demo is going to be our class B propane room. That's our natural gas system. And with this, we have a trash can and a stove simulator. And this is all safety. Um, it has a dead man switch that we're also gonna show you in this demo. But this is where we can go in and actually the firefighters can use hose techniques, water stream techniques to put out the fire. And it is once again, live fire training. We have a temperature monitoring system and a gas detection system. If the gas levels raise too high, 
that it'll automatically shut down the system, ventilation fans come on, turn the system completely off. It is all safety in this simulator. Our next demonstration is a rappelling demo. We have a tower um, that you guys are gonna see our guys demo uh, their rappelling skills off of this. So we can do, demonstrate our rope skills and rappelling out of windows, off a roof, off a tower, several different things. We also have a ventilation uh, demonstration uh, that we can do. We're not gonna demonstrate that for you today, but we can access our aerial trucks for this demo, it simulates a roof that if we need to open a ventilation hole to let air or smoke or fire escape from that roof or that attic, we can. And then we have a confidence maze inside in one of our containers. Uh, and this is kind of a search and rescue prop that we would use that we would put our guys in our PPE, our air tanks, and they would go in and do a search and rescue. Some confined space areas that they would go through. It kind of gives them a claustrophobic feel to see if they can get in and get in those areas. We can also fill it up with smoke and that once again reduces their visibility and puts them in an area where they're not real comfortable with, but we need to see if they can become comfortable in that area to do that. Uh, we also have actually a breakthrough floor that we can simulate. They would fall through and fall into a prop that is filled with foam so they won't get injured uh, and there is also wire entanglements that once again gives them that claustrophobic feel to see if they can get out of that entanglement. So from the walkthrough that we just did obviously there are endless combinations of different exercises that you can put your firefighters through correct? Yes there are a ton of different exercises we can do. So it looks like it will add a lot of value for years to come. <laughs> yes for sure. Great. Okay, and Tom, as we wrap up this segment, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, uh, sure. Um, as you saw, you know, it's, it's a state-of-the-art facility, um, and by doing that, we're we're raising our our firefighter level even higher with all the training. You know, we want to be one of the best fire departments around. Um, with that, that the the state fire academy has come down, signed off on it, so it can be used as a state facility at some point. And the CDPD has come, and they've looked at it and toured it as well, and they want to use it as a prop. So. It's, it's the only thing like this in the area and in the region, and I think you'll see a lot of outside entities want to come and use it. So I think it's going to be a great asset for the city in the future. Well, thank you both for giving us this inside look and, and as well as all of your personnel today. Sure thing. And we hope that you've enjoyed this inside look at the fire training simulator. Next week, we'll bring you more city news.